Even as the 2020 race begins in earnest, President Donald Trump is already suggesting that Democrats cannot beat him fairly raising the specter that if he loses next November, he will suggest that the election was not legitimate. The Democrats in Congress yesterday were vicious and totally showed their cards for everyone to see, Trump tweeted Tuesday, referring to House Democrats' launching of a broad-scale investigation into him. When the Republicans had the majority they never acted with such hatred and scorn. The Dems are trying to win an election in 2020 that they know they cannot legitimately win. Trump 2020 campaign press secretary Kayleigh McEnany echoed that sentiment in a statement on the Democratic investigations. These desperate Democrats know they cannot beat President Trump in 2020, so instead they have embarked on a disgraceful witch hunt with one singular aim, topple the will of the American people and seize the power that they have zero chance at winning legitimately, she said. And they asked Wednesday about the Democratic investigations, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said this, they continue to be a group totally taken by small radical leftist fringe of their party, and they're completely controlled by it, they know that's not enough to beat this president, so they're going to look for other ways to do that. All of that rhetoric fits into a very clear pattern, convince the Trump base that it is not possible for him to lose a fair and legitimate election in 2020. Thus, if he loses, it must be, by definition, illegitimate. None of this should be surprising given Trump's oft stated view of the 2016 election in which he won the Electoral College but lost the popular vote to Hillary Clinton by nearly 3 million votes. Less than three weeks after winning the White House in 2016, Trump sent out this tweet In addition to winning the Electoral College in a landslide, I won the popular vote. If you deduct the millions of people who voted illegally, 